like you said, you figured out a way that the, even though you guys are spread across the country, you could record these cover tunes. And that's another example of the persistence of where most people, some people are, are kind of hold up, you know, Hobbit style. Um, you guys are, you know, still pushing like, okay, how can we do this without endangering anyone, but still keep, you know, pushing ahead for our craft. Um, yeah. And is that that same drive that, you know, was kind of instilled in you at a young age? I don't really know. Um, it's a good question. Possibly. I mean, um, I think I'd have to think about that a little bit longer. Um, I, you know, I would, I would say it's more so the fact that Island and Brian are very, very prolific musically. Um, and they really kind of pushed me. I'm, I mean, you know, you had mentioned earlier the, the ups and downs of Candlebox. I mean, I've, you know, I've gone through three drummers and, and um, countless guitar players and several bass players. Um, I'm the one constant in the band, but those that surround me now um, and support me musically um, are the most prolific, talented guys um, I could ever hope to be playing with. Um, so they, I think they're the ones that kind of keep me uh, relative, if you will, um, or re uh, relevant um, and, uh, to, um, to the music. I mean, they just, they're always sending me stuff. Um, mm. And, the, you know, this, this whole cover song thing was uh, basically Island's idea. Um, Island and Brian, you know, they're like, listen, we should do something, you know, with, for what it's worth. And, and then I was like, well, let's do a whole EP. And then you know, that grew into, um, let's put it out and give it to everybody. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, I think I'm thankful to those guys for, I, I guess maybe what I'm saying in a roundabout sort of ways, I'm thankful that these, these musicians that I play with keep me grounded and directed. 